Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about place value. We all know how to count numbers, especially counting numbers from 0 to 9. And many of us learned it when we are still kid. But as a kid, we don't really know what these numbers are. We just memorize it since our parents and teachers wanted us to memorize it. In mathematics, the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are called digits. Or to be specific, it is called the base 10 digits. So, for example, we have 143 mangoes. The number 143 are made up of three digits, which are the 1, 4, and 3. And each digit has a place value. And that depends entirely on where the digit is placed or positioned. For the number 143, the digit 3 is in one's place. 4 is in the tens place and 1 is in the hundreds place. The digit in ones place tells us how many ones we have. The digit in the tens place tells us how many groups of tens we have. And the digit in hundreds place tells us how many groups of hundreds we have. So back to the example. one lies on the hundreds place so we can write it as 1 times 100 digit 4 lies on the tens place so we can add 4 times 10 to it and as 3 is in the ones place we add 3 times 1 100 plus 40 plus 3 is equal to 143 so that's how we understand the number 143. Now have you noticed that each number place represents groups that are exactly 10 times bigger than the previous number place? 10 is 10 times bigger than 1 and 100 is 10 times bigger than 10, right? If we have a number 1234, we can say that the digit 4 is in the 1's place, the digit 3 is in the 10's place, digit 2 is in the 100's place. And what I said earlier, the number place represents groups that are exactly 10 times bigger than the previous number place. Therefore, 100 times 10 is 1000. So we can say that the digit 1 is in 1000's place. Now have you noticed that whenever we have a new number place to count larger groups, we place it to the left of the previous number place? It is very important that we know that because number place are arranged in exact same order. Starting from one's place, as you move to the left, the number place represents larger and larger amounts. Now that you already know how to determine the place value of a number, Let's try to answer some problems. So what is the place value of digit 5 in the number 1056? Correct, it is in the tens place. Now how about the place value of digit 9 in the number 9453? That's right, digit 9 is in the thousands place. What is the place value of digit 6 in the number 2196 Yes, digit 6 is in the ones place. 
Now how about this? What is the place value of digit 3 in the number 7342? Correct, digit 3 is in the hundreds place. Now, let's try to answer a word problem involving place value. Shaira earned some money by selling cookies. She got 5 $100 bills, 4 $10 bills, and 5 $1 bills. So the question is how much money did she earn? So there are three types of money involved in this problem. The $100 bill, $10 bill, and the $1 bill. It is also stated in the problem that Shira earned five $100 bills. So from that, we can multiply 5 times $100 bills, which makes up to $500 bills. She also earned four ten dollar bills so four times ten is equal to forty so she also got forty dollars and she also have five one dollar so five times one is equal to five so she got five dollars so to answer how much money she earned we just need to add five hundred dollars plus forty dollars plus five dollars which is equal to five hundred forty five dollars so this means that Shira earned five hundred forty five dollars so do we have the same answer well I hope so so what can you say about the concept of place value it is easy right so that's it guys did you enjoy our topic for today i hope you learned a lot about place value also you can watch our other video tutorials here in our channel once again this is easy engineering we make engineering topics easy and fun for you